Ya hado, kazafugi desu, and welcome to Learn Japanese the Cute Way. Kana combinations, long vowels, and double consonants. Kanji, or rather in this case, kana lesson number four. In this lesson, you'll be learning the last part you need to be able to read and write any Japanese word. It's not entirely essential to know hiragana and katakana for this video, but I would highly recommend learning them with my previous two lessons. Links are in the description. This video will cover the three title giving concepts one by one and I'll teach you what they are and how to use them. So let's start with the first one. Kana combinations. In my Romazi lesson, you might have noticed two sets of sounds that only consisted of three sounds instead of the usual five. For kana combinations, the first set is used, consisting of ya, you, and yo. With the exception of the first set of sounds, a, i, u, e, o, and the last set, wa, n, o, you can combine the e variant of a sound and then combine it with ya, you, or yo. Here's one example. Nya which is the sound a cat makes in Japanese. In Romazi, it's written without the vowel sound of ni and ya. There are few exceptions, but they should make sense when you learn them. And here's the hiragana version, nya. First comes the ni hiragana, followed by a slightly smaller and lowered ya hiragana. The same works for katakana, nya. In the following, I'll go through all possible combinations and pronounce them two times. It's not important to memorize all of them, it's important to recognize them when you see them and be able to pronounce them properly. So here's all of them. You get five seconds to familiarize yourself with each. Kya. Kya. Q. Q. Kyo. Kyo. Sha. Sha. Shu, shu, so, so, cha, cha, chu, chu, cho, cho, nya, nya. New, new, nyo, nyo, hya, hya, hu, hu, hyo, hyo, nya, nya. New, new, myo, myo, ria, ria, ryu, ryu, ryo, ryo, gya, gya. Gyu, gyu, gyo, gyo, ja, ja, zu, zu, jo, jo, bia, bia. Biu, biu, bio, bio, pia, pia, piu, piu, pio, pio. And that's all of them. There's one last batch of sounds that you should be aware of that only works with katakana. Since katakana is used to approximate foreign words, there are certain additional combinations to have a larger variety of sounds. For example, fantasy, which is an actual Japanese word and approximates the English word fantasy. The first two characters are pronounced fa 
and are a combination of fu and a. In a similar style with ya, yu, yo in the previous combinations, here a is smaller and lowered, and the long dash at the end will transition us to the second concept of long vowels in a few moments. But first, here are all additional katakana combinations. I'll again pronounce them two times, and again you don't need to memorize them, just be aware of their existence. Fa, fa, fi, fi, fe, fe, fo, fo, se, se. Zhe, zhe, tse, tse, ti, ti, di, di, tsua, tsua, tsui, tsui, tsue, tsue, so, so, two, 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 wa, wa, we, we, wu, wu. We, we, wo, wo, we, we, u, u, we, we. And that was all of them. Be aware that the ones that came first you're going to see more likely. Especially the last ones you won't be seeing very often as most words are using simple approximations such as bazon for version. And that concludes the first concept. Now it's time to talk about those long dashes in fantasy, bazon and twitta. Those are long vowel sounds. In Romazi they are written a, i, u, e, Oh, pay attention that e is normally pronounced just as a long e, and the same with o. Sometimes you will see a vowel with a line on top of it, which is the equivalent to the ones mentioned. In hiragana, long vowels are written like they are laid out in Romazi. A, i, u, e, o. In katakana, long vowels will be indicated with a long dash after a vowel. A, I, U, E, O. Here are the examples again you've seen in this lesson before. Fantasy, Fantasy, Bazon, Bazon, Twitter, Twitter. And here are a few ones in Hiragana. Kawaii, meaning cute. Imoto, meaning little sister. Toto, meaning butterfly. And that's it for the second concept. Now on to the last concept before you can read and write all Japanese words. Double consonants. Let's take a look at some example words. Kakkoi, meaning cool, not in the temperature sense. Zettai, meaning absolute. And gakko, meaning school. All of these words have a double consonant in their Romazi writing. The pronunciation again is kakkoi. Kakkoi, zettai, zettai, gakko, gakko. You basically pause on the first consonant and then continue with the second. In hiragana and katakana, these are expressed by adding a small and lower tsu where the break occurs. Kakkoi, zettai, gakko. We've already seen a katakana example. Twitter. So whenever you see a small tsu, begin pronouncing the following consonants 
then make a small break and then continue with that consonant. And with this, you've now learned everything you need to read and write all Japanese words in hiragana and katakana. The next step for you will be the kanji introduction. Even if the concept of kanji makes you shiver, watch the introduction and from there on just take a look at my vocabulary lessons, in which you can learn how to read kanji written words without knowing any of the kanji in it. All videos mentioned in this lesson are in the description. Thank you for watching. If you also want to learn Japanese the cute way, then make sure to thoroughly head for that subscribe button. The like button is also looking for attention. それ